ha ah, well okay 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 <laughs> the people of math have found their uh, answer they say it's inclusive and exclusive series or uh, they write it like 0 to 10 but it's 0 to 9.9999 and 10 onwards here okay that's uh, very valid there is a inclusive and exclusive so some of the times they write uh, 0 to 9 10 to 19 22 29 so on uh, this is uh, from that that 10 will be considered here not here otherwise it's okay does it make sense to you now shall i ask you some tough questions there is a likert scale strongly disagree disagree neutral agree strongly disagree strongly agree on the same statement a said i am here b said i am here can i say reaction of a towards disagreement is more intense than that of b reaction towards that particular statement in terms of disagreement is more intense for a than that of b agree if c is here neutral it means b is somewhat in disagreement than c for the same statement yes or no towards disagreement b is intense than c c is neutral no? some people say neutral is not a good word you should write neither disagree nor agree okay whatever so b is towards a disagreement as compared to this so what do you see the difference between the a and b in the response is same that of b and c can you guarantee this no sir no so what is your opinion likert scale is ordinal or interval ordinal likert scale is ordinal good then tell how Anybody any time told you that not every 5 point scale is a Likert scale? Any time you heard of this? Not every 5 point scale is a Likert scale. Okay. Well, you see, okay, there is 7 point scale. So, what is that? How many people use Likert scale in their study or uh, you know you have seen in your area people are using it? Only then I should go ahead with Likert. Social sciences, who never or like uh, any person in the area never use Likert scale, like mechanical engineer one I can understand or other, which one, uh, which area, economics. economics, yeah generally you do not use, you work on the secondary data, but you may use, you may take some time, but uh, like engineers, doctors they rarely use. Well friends, Likert need some time what uh, Likert said and what people interpret are now unfortunately two different things. I will come to the Likert, but we are in between something in a process and uh, will I will try to tell you data we talk about in two terms, one is called as the discrete data, one called the continuous data. Have you heard of such term? Yes, sir. And when we go for the graphical representation, the graphical representation for the discrete is this and it is called as uh, bar charts. For continuous data, we make things like this. It is called as histograms. Have you heard of such terms? Can you relate it with the type of question? Like if I will ask a nominal measurement question, gender male female, what is more apt, discrete or continuous? Discrete, right. If I will ask for income level, it can continue to income you. So, basically one thing is if you can switch between the data, it can be discrete. If you cannot switch rather uh, you can go back, you can come back etcetera. So, it is a continuous otherwise if you belong to only one then that is a discrete. Am I correct? Like if I will ask you gender, you will say either you will be here, it will be here and it does not make sense that somebody say I am so male that I become female. Does it make sense? that I am you know so much in that. Well, uh, by the way, this I was feeling from a long time and yesterday, uh, day before yesterday I saw it in Chandigarh, PGI Chandigarh had made a wonderful study. The study says these days the male particular hormones are rising in females like anything. The females are more masculine as earlier, earlier it used to be. 
So, they say because of lifestyle, because of so many social changes, this is where. So, and in fact, we talk about the male and the female, it is uh, uh, I do not believe it in and uh, 8th March we celebrate International Women's Day, it is not a Women's Day, it is uh, it should be Feminine Day. You know, we, we talk about the male and female, that is a separate, but what we are looking for is masculinity and the femininity. So, on the basis of that, there are the four, male with more of uh, masculine characters, male with feminine character, ki and ka. <laughs> female with masculine character, female with this. So, actually the movies talk about the same. Well, my point is why I am taking, I am not interested in teaching you stats by the way. My, my point is simply this, the various pieces of jigsaw puzzle which have been given to you in bits and pieces, I am trying to connect it. You know this sort of things, sort of a cap, bell shaped curve, normal distribution. What is a normal distribution? Basically, it says if you attach the midpoints there and if it comes like into a bell shaped curve, it is called the normal. My question is, what is your understanding normal distribution requires continuity or it can be here also? Continuity. So, this is a scale, continuous scale is such, you put your finger anywhere and that value is possible. Here, you put anywhere, no, go to the nearest one. Getting my point? So, discrete is one. So, in very simple terms for students, we tell if decimal is allowed, it is continuous. If decimal is not allowed, it is a discrete. You look for, if I ask me is uh, your age, if you noted down the question, discrete series question, x and f 15, 16, 17, there is no 15.1 allowed, either 15 or 16. That means, it is a discrete, it is a continuous one. Number two, we have just done nominal requires this, nominal and ordinal, they require this and interval and ratio we represent using continuous. Interval and ratio we use using this, this two we collectively call as non-metric. Metric is the Latin root meaning uh, measurement. So, non-metric, non is not, what does it mean not measurement? It means approximate measurement. Remember when I asked 0 to 10, what is the age of A? All you can tell is, it is more than 0 and less than 10. How much is the age of A? You do not know. It is approximate measurement. And if I ask age like this, what is your age? A said 8 years, I know exactly the 8 years is the age. This is called metric and this is called non-metric. We use, with the metric data, we make this sort of histograms and with the non-metric data, we make discrete. See, <laughs> yeah, it is as simple as that. The place you belong to, Delhi, Bangalore, Agra, will you make histogram or uh, bar chart? Bar chart, right? Marital status, married or unmarried? Bar chart, right? If I do it like this, what is your age open ended? Okay. And then later on find it, how many people are there between 0 to 10, 10 to 20, 20 to 30. Will I make a histogram or bar chart? Histogram. histogram. Okay. So, basically whatever question you will get into open ended question, they are called as the ratio measurement. And whatever the questions, so just 2, 3 points, let me just give you a summary of the entire and then there is a interesting observation, if you have noted it. <coughs> 